With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students. So the question is three prism one, two and three have the prism angle 60 degree, but their refractive indexes are in the ratio are respectively 1.4, 1.5, 1.6. Del 1, del 2, del 3 be their respective angles of deviation. Then, so for this question, let us suppose the ray diagram through prism. So, considering this is the prism here, and this is angle of prism A, this point B, and this point C, ABC is a prism, and this is the incident light ray. This is the refracted light ray and this is the emergent light ray. So first we draw the normal over here. This is angle of incidence I1. This is angle of refraction R1. Then the normal at that point, this is R2. And this is I2 or you can say it is equal to E. This is emergent light ray. And on producing the incident light ray forward and the emergent light ray backward, this angle is called angle of deviation. Here del is called angle of deviation. Now there is a relation between angle of deviation and refractive index and angle of prism which is given del is equals to mu minus 1 into angle A. And according to the question, angle A is same for three prisms. Angle A is same that is 60 degree. So which means that here del is directly proportional to mu. And according to the question, mu1 is given here 1.4, mu2 is given here 1.5 and mu3 is given here 1.6, which clearly indicates that mu3 is greater than mu2 is greater than mu1, which suggests that since it is directly proportional, so it means that del3 is greater than del2 is greater than del 1. So the correct option of this question will be option 1. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.